Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to prevent Google ads click fraud. Now this is an extremely important thing because 99% of those people who use Google shopping ads or just Google ads in general, don't even know what Google ads click fraud is. And this is one of the biggest things that is negatively impacting your performance when it comes to Google ads. And this is actually something I just came to realize just recently. And I immediately began to make changes to really prevent this from happening. I can definitely say that this makes a big impact on whether you make any sales with your Shopify store or not. So this is one video you're going to want to watch until the end. But without wasting any more time, let's just understand exactly what click fraud is and how you can prevent click fraud with your shopping ads or search ads so you don't become a victim of bad performance. So exactly what is click fraud? Before we learn how to deal with it, it is important for you to know exactly what click fraud is. Well, click fraud is basically not humans and there are a lot of specific things which qualify as non-human and I'll be going over them very soon but non-humans who are designed to click on your ads whether it is a shopping listing ad or a search ad to increase your ad cost and basically drive you out of business unfortunately this is a very immoral thing to do but a lot of drop shippers also participate with this and this is basically you knowing that you're a e-com store owner and then when you specifically type in the search terms for a specific product or when you're doing product research you just go ahead and click on your competitors ads what happens is the competitor still gets charged for that specific click which you made but you know that you were not planning on buying that in the first place all you were doing is just trying to number one drive your competitor out of business or number two actually doing product research well the thing about this is google has kind of over the years become very very familiar with this kind of fraud and it has become really smart at dealing with it but let's understand exactly what i mean by non-human so there are a few criteria as to what qualifies as this so who exactly does this kind of click fraud well number one as i mentioned it's other drop shippers simply trying to increase the cost of their competitors or just doing product research and want to spy on their competitors but number two and that is bots you guys won't believe it but a lot of bots participate in this kind of black hat strategies and these bots are designed by other people specifically for these kinds of jobs and if you didn't know bots roughly take up 40 percent of the online space meaning right now whoever is online 40% of those people are currently bots. This is kind of a fact which just causes people to go mind blown, but this is the reality and a lot of these bots are actually designed to actually commit click fraud and drive you out of business. So it is really important for you to know exactly how to deal with it. But along with bots, there's one more type of people or an organization which does this and those are called click farms. It is basically a farm of a bunch of different electronic devices such as iPhones, Androids, etc. Just all packed together inside one space. It could be inside a warehouse or a factory. And what these phones are designed to do, and they have automated software installed in them to do this, but they're designed to just 24 seven go through different ads, whether it's on Facebook, on Google, and just click on the ads to drive up the cost. This seems kind of unreal, but this is a fact. This is done and it is called a click farm. A lot of those organizations where they have a big budget often do this to get rid of all of the small competition like those people especially who are drop shipping because they often don't have the budget to deal with this kind of stuff so again that is why it's so important to be dealing with click fraud correctly so that it doesn't happen constantly to you and it doesn't impact your performance but how do you exactly monitor click fraud where can you even learn more about this? Well, there is a specific section on your Google Ads account where you can look at the columns for invalid clicks, which are associated with click fraud. It is known as invalid click rate and the invalid clicks. And you can set these up in the columns at the campaign level. So let's go ahead and go on over to my Google Ads account. And from here, as you can see, I'm currently on the campaign section. From here, I want to go ahead and go to columns. And from columns, I want to click on modify columns. We will be choosing those specific columns which will show us more info on click fraud right in this section. So once you're inside the column section, you then want to go to performance. From performance, we want to choose two specific checkboxes. The first checkbox is for invalid clicks. And if we hover over it, it will tell us exactly what this is. So it says invalid clicks are clicks Google considers illegitimate. And this is exactly referring to those people conducting click fraud. And it says you're not charged for them and they don't affect your account statistics. 
Google closely monitors for clicks such as these, which may have been generated by repeated manual clicks or by automated tools, robots, or other deceptive software. And now, even though Google continuously monitors them, of course, Google is still an algorithm. It is a machine. It cannot get it right 100% of the time, which is why you need to apply the solutions I'll be mentioning towards the end of the video. But you want to go ahead and check this first box and you want to check the second box as well, which is the invalid click rate. Basically, it is associated with the amount of invalid clicks which you have. You can also go ahead and specifically check these boxes over here, which is invalid interactions and invalid interaction rate. But I just like to keep these two checked just to get a better idea of what the invalid click rate is and how many clicks I'm getting, which are considered invalid. So let's go ahead and go on over to the right side. So as you can see now, these two specific sections have been added, the invalid click section and invalid click rate section. It gives us a lot of different information. As you can see, this specific ad account that I'm on, and this is one of my students ad account. But in total, just for this month of January, when I'm recording this video in 2020, this specific ad account has had roughly 47 invalid clicks in total, meaning there were 47 attempts of illegitimate clicks to increase the ad cost and drive my student out of business. And also the invalid click rate is around 3%, meaning around 3% of all of the clicks that come for the specific ads currently run on this account are invalid. So that's exactly how you can monitor them at the campaign level. This gives you a general idea of which campaign is getting how many invalid clicks. And it is super important to know exactly what these numbers are so that you can take some action to fix them. But let's move on to the next section, which is how do you even fix it? What are the solutions? Well, there are several solutions I'll be mentioning in this video. The first one is to enable something called auto tagging at the account settings level. So what do I mean by this exactly? Well, let's go ahead and go on over to the Google Ads account. From here on the All Campaigns dashboard, we want to go ahead and go on to the left side and click on Settings. From Settings, we'll be choosing Account Settings. So as you can see, it is the second option at the top, which says Account Settings. A lot of people will have this already checked, but if you don't have this checked, make sure to open this section over here and make sure that this box is checked, which says tag the URL that people click through from my ad. Now, what does this mean exactly? Well, let's go ahead and go back and understand what that means. Basically, what that is doing is it adds a special parameter to the end of every URL on your store and the products which are associated to the Google shopping ads or the Google search ads. So in essence, all you need to really know is that this makes tracking more efficient for Google and makes it easier to really get rid of the invalid click rate and make sure the right traffic and the right people are coming in. Because again, you don't want to waste your money on those kinds of people who didn't have any intentions of buying from you in the first place. Because if you go ahead and go back to the campaign section and see how many basically in total there were invalid clicks to understand how much it cost us. So let's go ahead and see exactly how many clicks there were and what the average CPC was. So there were roughly 47 invalid clicks in total for this month. And the average cost of each click is roughly 35 Australian dollars. If we change that to USD, that is roughly 24 cents. So let's open up the calculator and see exactly how much this cost us. So 47 clicks at around 25 cents per click. So that's 0 0.25 which equals $11.75. Now that does not seem like a lot, but if we go ahead and change the time period to all time and really get a better understanding of what this is costing us, we can see that the number really exceeds how much we can really spend. And by the way, the tracking was not set up correctly, which is why the conversion value and the cost is different. In fact, this store of my students has done roughly $7,000 in sales and it is profitable. But there were a lot of issues with this specific store for the student, but they were fixed once the student joined my mentoring program. And if you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one mentoring with Google Ads specifically, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is at dedicated young, but there were a total of 251 invalid clicks for this specific store. And if we go ahead and do a little bit of more math, 251 times 45 Australian dollars, which is roughly 35 cents, that equals to about $87 in total. So what I'm trying to say is the cost adds up over time, especially if you don't really try to make this number lower. I've seen accounts where this cost is all the way up to $400,000 just because those stores are high ticket stores. So it is really important for you to make sure that this number is as low as possible. But that is what you should be doing. Basically enable auto tagging to make it kind of easier for Google to track all those invalid clicks. The second that you should be doing is basically when choosing the specific location for your Google campaigns, 
make sure that under the location tab, you choose people who live in this location. What this will do is it will prevent people from other countries who may have been in the location which you're targeting. For example, people who are visiting a specific country from engaging in activities like these. Because from my own research, what I found is that a lot of the overseas countries engage in this kind of black hat activity, specifically China. The click farms that I mentioned earlier are mostly taking place in China. So China is very advanced. They do things like these to stay ahead of the game. But one thing I have not mentioned specifically is that you need to keep the rate of invalid click rate below 10%. This is the ideal amount that you want it to be below in order to really not spend too much money. Of course, again, despite doing everything that you possibly can, you will find that you just cannot stop every invalid click from coming in. That's just the reality of how it works. No system is perfect, but you really need to make sure that this percentage is below 10 to get the best bang out of your buck and make sure that you're not wasting too much money in the long run because you would rather have accumulate the money that has gone towards these invalid clicks towards the better portion of the clicks, meaning the people who are actually real customers and are interested in your product. But again, make sure to enable auto tagging, as I mentioned. And another thing you can do, which is a real solution to this, is to make sure you choose people who live in this location. But if you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.